Hello everybody and welcome to this follow-up tutorial. Today I will show you how to actually install the tour itself. We'll go through the installation procedure and in order for us to do that we will need to use the new user that we have created test. That's the that's the username of the new user. Anyway, in order for you to do that, you need to log out. And in order for you to log out in Kali Linux, just go ahead and click in the upper right corner where it says root. Go scroll down to switch user. And yep, there we go. The screen is going to resize a bit, perhaps. Maybe. Excellent. So it says here test. I'm already logged in as test. As I have done this previously, but eh, it's going to prompt me for a password as well. But the, the user test is running in the background. So just go ahead and type in the password for it, press enter, very simple. You will follow exactly the same procedure. There is nothing different that I'm doing that perhaps you need to change or alter or, or anything of a kind. There is a browser icon in the upper left corner. It's blue. It's a nice weasel browser. Go ahead and press on it. Use your favorite search engine, type in Tor, press enter. And go ahead and open the first site that pops up. It's Tor Project Anonymity Online. Make sure, absolutely make sure, that you are downloading this browser from a proper site, from the official sources. So it says HTTPS, make sure it there, there is an S markation at the end, that it's not HTTP, rather HTTPS, and make sure that the domain is correct, so torproject.org. It's not .com, it's not dot .some country extension, it's not dot .anything else, it's .org. Anyway, go ahead and click straight away on Download Tor. And I need a 64 Tor browser GNU Linux. That is what I want to download, but in case you're using some other operating system, over here, oops, ah, uh, I can't seem to select it, never mind. Uh, over here you have Microsoft Windows, Apple OS X, here let me just zoom it in then, if I can select it. Yep, there we go. Over here you have it for Microsoft Windows, Apple OS X, uh, we are currently going to go ahead and use the Linux Unix version, and there are some additions in the All Downloads section as well. Feel free to check that out, perhaps uh, go ahead about the site, see what you can find. There are some interesting things here, forums, quest, uh, FQA, FAQ, sorry, and some other things as well. I would strongly advise you to actually just browse around the site a bit for the time being. I'm just going to go ahead and click on download. Yes, I wish to save a file. Okay, the download will proceed, and it only takes about a minute to download, so a very short amount of time that I will use to actually tell you what Tor is. Now, basically, what you do with Tor is simply route your traffic to go through certain points, and every time it hops, there is an encryption layer. It makes your connection very secure, and there are these things that are called the inner nodes. So, for example, you go from one computer. Nodes are basically computers or servers through which you go. So, you go your connection. You make a request to a certain website, and then your connection goes from your computer to some other computer, and then from that computer to some other, and so on and so forth, until it reaches the exit node. All of these devices are a part of the Tor network. And once it reaches the exit node, it is the exit node that actually makes the request towards the site that you wanted. Basically, you are using a lot of proxies. Uh, that would be the very basic explanation, but there is a lot, there is a lot more to it, uh, the encryption being the major part of it. So there are multiple layers of encryption there, and it's not that easy to figure out or should I say it is rather impossible to figure out where the connection is coming from if you are a system administrator unless you are controlling these nodes or something like that which is highly unlikely basically this is a fantastic way of staying anonymous but you do not need to necessarily use Tor as a Tor browser just to go and access the hidden web rather instead you are you should be you can use Tor to actually Torify that is the that is the term I am not making an error here that is the term to Torify your applications and once you Torify them all traffic generated by those applications will be routed through the Tor network and you will be anonymous to a very large extent. Although keep in mind that connections, uh, all, all things using Tor are very slow, primarily because your connection is being routed through a lot of devices and there are a lot of people out there that are using those devices. Uh, 
anybody can contribute really you can see a bit more on the website and so on and so forth if you want if you want to if you have an interest in such things but for the time being I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that rather than instead I want to start using Tor and show you the dark web so just go ahead and click on your download it's just give it a moment just give it a bit of time it says reading archive please wait excellent extract and I want to extract it to test desktop so go ahead and proceed let's see if it's gonna succeed extracting files from archive uh, don't cancel it just quit it excellent so just go ahead and open up this folder in this folder there I mean in the folders in the browser folder section you have a lot of these things if you want to check them out but for the time being what you need is start tour browser these are just the files that the tour browser uses so no worries there anyway just go ahead and click on start tour browser run and this process might take a while it's shorter for me but it might take a bit longer for you I don't know it just depends I suppose on many things don't worry about it it's gonna take up to minute maximum to connect to the tour network anyway just go ahead and expand it now you might ask yourselves well what is what is so special about the store browser it looks like a regular browser maybe it loads a different website as the default but that's it nothing really special there however it gives you an ability to actually access the dot onion domains and here's how we do that the first thing that I'm going to do is type in hidden wiki hidden wiki it's one of those websites where you have a link to or to a large amount of other dot onion domains to those of significance anyway and its URL changes continuously that is why I am actually searching for it in the video as opposed to just preloading it primarily to show you how you can find it it's not really that difficult you can just type it in to the search engine and it's fairly simple it, there's no there are no difficulties there so just go ahead and open up a couple of these websites you will get a you will get you will get one of them to work for sure so here we have onion and uh, these are dot onion domains a list of them quite a large list but I'm not actually interested in those ah there it is this let me just zoom it in so the hidden wiki has been hacked this is the new URL spread it don't worry about this this happens like all the time so it's just one of those things that you have to learn to live with uh, I know it's a bit inconvenient to have to search for the URL all the time but if you want to access the dark web things are not as stable as they are on the on the regular web so that can be that can be problematic to, to the point of extreme so it says welcome to the hidden wiki new hidden wiki URL add it to bookmarks and spread it excellent so this is where we want to be let me just explain where we are this is a rather large list of links for dot onion domains as I said and you have a lot of things here some of them are illegal and we will not go into those basically where you have people who are selling PayPal accounts credit card accounts uh, credit card numbers and so on and so forth that is not some there are those are really not the places where you can where you should go perhaps if you want to check out if your PayPal has been hacked or something like that if it has you can go onto those websites and search for it to see if it's actually there and other than that I really see no other reason why you should visit them anyway you have okay so you have some editors picks volunteer if you want to volunteer something like that introduction points we don't really need any of those things financial services so you have a ton load of things here a lot of things concerned the anonymity of payment online so Bitcoin or you can buy prepaid cards or something like that so if you buy a prepaid card I suppose it's okay because you know you can get a prepaid card in the Walmart or something like that they give them out practically uh, their gift cards or something like that that you can use for online payment so you're completely anonymous with those but never ever buy a genuine credit card because that's illegal unless the person that I actually there are no cases where it's legal I thought it might be when the person actually owns it but no no not really anyway down below you have commercial services here you can find all sorts of cheap things wouldn't really recommend buying anything from here to be shipped to your address 
primarily be because you have no guarantee of whatsoever that that is what you have ordered or that you will get the genuine stuff. So you have anonymity and security. There are some things concerning proxies, good proxies. Some things concerning the tour. You might want to check. You might want to check these for out. So that's not a bad idea. There. These are all external resources that I'm showing to you now that you can use on the hidden web. That is the primary purpose why I am showing you how to access the hidden web so you can use a large amount of these external resources during your pen testing uh, exercises. There are lots of useful things here and I definitely encourage you to go over to go over some of them and to see if you can find something of use to you. What we are today mainly interested in are the forums. So you have forums, broads, chants, and so on and so forth. And there are a lot of things here. So let's just open some of them. Keep in mind that they tend to be down, that the URLs tend to change, and they can be problematic. So let's just try Blackbook. Maybe something's going to be there. Hack forum. Yep, you see there's a problem loading this, loading this page. This is not going to open. This, this one might. The Secret Story Archive. No, I don't need that. Deep Web Radio. Hack the Planet. Let's see. Let's see what what they got there. Uh, the Intel Exchange. Excellent. Intel Exchange. I think this is one of the better ones. So you can just go ahead and clear these pages through. Go through these pages. See if you can find anything of use. We are an Intel Exchange. This is most likely not going to open. Excellent. So this is one of those forums where you will need to register. But I mean. Nobody's asking you for your credit card information. You just fill in the basic information like your usernames, passwords, how you wish to be addressed, and so on and so forth. And then you have a lot of things here which can come in handy. So you have general discussions. We don't really want that. We have uh, soft excellent. This is what we're looking for, software. So hacking, programming, tour, and everything else about software. Let's see what's let's see what's there. By the way, whatever code you download from these websites, either run it within virtual environments or do not run it at all. They're just pure. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that there's do not run it on your uh, regular machines or on anybody's regular machines because that's never a good idea. So what do we got here? Uh, best programming language for m making an OS. Well, God, we don't really need that. That can be rather complicated. Down below, uh, login.bn, is it safe to download PDFs on Tor? Mm, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't download anything on Tor that you will use on your regular machine. So we have some pretty stupid things here which we will never get to use, but there are there are some very nice things. I'm just trying to find excellent. We have IP address questions. So what can you do with an IP addresses and so on and so forth. I can't open any of these because I'm not registered, but I have been on these forums and they can be quite useful. Not I don't think I've been on this one in particular, but I have been on forums on the dark net. And you can find some interesting things that people have done some interesting methods. Usually things tend to come out here first and then they hit the general public or the regular web whichever way you want to see it and there we go we have key loggers here so you can find some information on key loggers how to use them where to find them but I would suggest uh, reading the reviews mainly here and the suggestions and then figuring out where will you download it seeing if a key logger is open source or closed source if it's open source perhaps you can go to their website and download it from there and be safe in that manner so that's not a bad idea and you have a download of other things you see hacking tools SQL injections operating systems for hacking rootkits and so on and so forth you have a ton load of information here which I would strongly recommend that you use that you just go over it uh, see what people are doing there don't do, I don't do not do anything legal just go ahead visit the forums and see what sort of information can you extract from it that's all in any case uh, this will this would, I will conclude the tutorial here I hope you find the dark web uh, to be a useful asset in your pen testing career or your pen testing activities in general. I believe me, it is. You can find a lot of useful things as I keep restating. And the connections can be rather slow. And it is safe to install a Tor browser on your regular machines so long as you download it from 
the official site, which is storeproject.org, but it's a, the protocol under the protocol of HTTPS and not HTTP. In any case, I bid you farewell, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.